Uh, welcome into the Oklahoma's video studio. It's time for the Energy FC update. I'm Dave Morris, filling in for Jenny Carlson today. Alongside me, goalkeeper extraordinaire. Yep, Coley, Cody Lorendi. Great to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. You're down to one game. This entire season of matches everywhere, we're down to one match left coming up this weekend against uh, St. Louis FC. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think if you, you blink, you miss the season. Uh, we get so focused in on the day-to-day -day, uh, aspect of everything that 30-plus games go by like that. Uh, unfortunately, we're not in a position uh, to extend our season. But having said that, we can spoil uh, postseason plans for some teams. So that's the that's the mentality that we're bringing into this game this weekend, uh, as well as uh, you know wanting to to finish out the season on a high note. It's good to have that edge, though, right? You for know, sure. it's something to play for. Hey, we can knock out St. Louis, depending yeah. on how their mid mid match yeah. mid week match goes. Uh, but that's kind of fun, right? Yeah, I think um, you know I think we all have friends in in this game. Uh, but for 90 plus minutes, there's there's no friendships. Those get put to the side, <laughs> and we worry about um, y you know what we can control. St. Louis has typically been a tough tough matchup for you guys. Yeah, yeah, and they uh, they have quality all the way around. One uh, one player in particular who spent uh, a year of his career here last year was Sam Fink, uh, a defender for them, and uh, as well as uh, Christian Valeski, who is currently with us. Um, we know that the he's, he's dropped ten goals yes. for the energy this year. Yeah, we we know or has ten goals at this point. Yeah, we know the quality that that the St. Louis squad possesses, and uh, not taking not taking anything for granted. That's for sure. Faced them one time earlier this year. Looking at the uh, the stats here, thank you, yeah. to Tyler, for that. A one nil decision there uh, against St. Louis at Taft. Yep. Well, that'll be interesting watching that. You have uh, some other soccer ahead of you. Yes. You will actually not be facing St. Louis later this week, as I understand it. Correct. Because you'll be playing with Puerto Rico. Yeah. Congratulations, Thank by you. the way, the national team there. Thank you so much. I'll be heading down there tomorrow morning. Uh, we're playing against uh, Martinique on, uh, on Saturday as well. Uh, we'll be playing a little bit earlier in the day, so hopefully be able to catch uh, the energy game uh, later in the evening. But um, I'll be heading down there for the second of four matches uh, in the CONCACAF Nations League. Gotcha. Yeah. So walk it back for us. How did you wind up on the Puerto Rican national yeah, team? Yeah, it's a very, very interesting uh, way of me getting getting there. Uh, not Puerto Rican by heritage. Uh, I've explained that a couple, couple times. Um, but having said that, I spent a good portion of my career early on in Puerto Rico. Being that it is a commonwealth of the United States, I'm able to represent them uh, on a national team basis. So, uh, huge honor for me. I, I know uh, the, the amount of players that, professionals that get to represent a country is very, very small. So, uh, I, I take extreme pride in that. And uh, I want to help uh, you know, Puerto Rico um, not only both on but off the field as well. How is it off the field down there right now? Right, yeah, it's uh, it, it's tough. There I guess was, it's been about a year, a little over a year. Yeah, now. this and this will be the first home game okay. uh, since the hurricane. Well, that's a big deal. Then. Huge deal, huge deal. And we wanna we wanna put on a show. We want to um, uh, in a culture that is so proud. Um, we want to just add to that. We want to uh, make show them that we're willing to give 110 percent for them on the field. Um, the, because of uh, not just everything that has happened, but my positive feelings towards them and uh, throughout the field, everybody's positive uh, feelings towards uh, towards the people of Puerto Rico. You know, sports can really play such a key factor in recovery mm -hmm. and just how you feel. We saw that after 9-11 here in the, in the mm -hmm. U.S. where various baseball games were yeah. played. I, I assume this will have some similar significance. Yeah, I, I think uh, sports in general is it's a it's it's a good escape sometimes from reality and, and from uh, people's problem everyday problems. Uh, and if we can positively positively affect their uh, their mood, their day, their week, sure, you know, by a by a positive result on the field, then uh, then then we've done our jobs. Tell me more about Cody. You've got uh, some Puerto Rican action ahead of you, but mm -hmm. then what's beyond that? As the season has wound, winded, uh, wound yeah. down for energy. Um, we have one more, uh, one more Nations League uh, game in November, uh, mid-November, so staying fit for that. Um, as it pertains to, to my future, obviously I want to be here. Um, it, there's there's uh, some conversations that are being uh, being had at the moment. So it's that it's at that stage. At it's at that point stage. For, yeah. For you with the with the squad. Hey, yeah. There's discussions. You know, I I have 
been afforded the opportunity to, to really grow in my career, both on and off the field here in Oklahoma City. Um, I can't speak highly enough about the people that are in the city, the people that have shown me support throughout the years, um, and not just on game day, but in town on a Monday afternoon, right? Uh, they make you feel uh, like a million bucks. And I, um, I, that's something that I don't take for granted, and you don't get that every, anywhere you, everywhere you go. Um, I want to grow where I'm planted, and uh, this is a perfect spot for me uh, in the future. So It's good for you to have perspective. It's good for all of us to have that perspective. At some point, you have to kind of realize where you're at in the moment, and hey, mm -hmm. this is a pretty decent situation, and take advantage of that. Of course, of course. We always, I think as, uh, as professional athletes, it's hard to, to see long term uh, because we, what we do is such a front-loaded career path. We're not doctors or lawyers who are getting started at 30. We're winding down at 30, um, and if we're lucky enough to play pass, then, then that's icing on the cake. Um, and I'm a perfect example of being a little bit of a journeyman. Um, every couple of years, picking up and moving. Um, but like I said, this the Oklahoma City, there is so much going for it. This is a hidden gem, if you will, um, in the United States, where any player who comes here, I think, uh, who is afforded the opportunity to play here, realizes it. Years from now, would you want to get into coaching? Uh, without a doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. I think uh, any type of endeavor where you're positively impacting somebody's future um, and able to um, rely on your own life experiences and help the next generation is something that I want to be involved with. One last question for you, and by the way, plenty of information can be found online at energyfc.com, ticket information or event information, the upcoming match at ESPN+. Plus. Tyler has forwarded his notes, as he always does, in a great manner. Nominated for Save of the Week, Save of the Month for September. Mm -hmm. But ladies and gentlemen, something we can all learn from Cody. Best beard in the USL? <laughs> I gotta thank my, uh, my parents' genetics for that. I don't, I don't think there's anything else. There's nothing special that I do for this, but I mean, uh, you know, coming, this is a perfect example of, of, of me coming here. This is not anything uh, prior to me uh, signing with the energy. Um, obviously, the, the, <laughs> the beard and the hair combo has kind of taken on a life of its own, but it positively impacts the, the club in, in a way that um, has helped me, and it's been mutually beneficial. How long does it take to grow? Oh, man. A man I've, beard <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, been, I've been cutting it every, every couple of months, but uh, as far as it growing out, it took close to, I don't know, six months a year. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I couldn't grow <laughs> if I tried. It certainly wouldn't look that good. That's fantastic. Uh, he's Cody Lorendi, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Energy uh, FC goalkeeper extraordinaire. He will be playing with the Puerto Rican national team in upcoming action. And again, stay uh, tuned for all things energy on their website at energyfc.com. Best of luck to the energy this weekend against St. Louis. Best of luck to you and safe travels. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time.